patiently waiting For the stream of faith which brings life forever mm-hmm. The man of tomorrow about UV lamps and filters. You need to replace these, they won't last forever. They're not expensive. We use these for affecting the algae, the algae growth, it'll affect the, the DNA and the algae stops it reproducing UV light. So we want to keep our water um, clear and also keep the algae down to a minimum so it's not competing for the nitrates. We have enough problems keeping the nitrates up to feed the plants. We're going to need to have a UV filter now. One of our bulbs is broken. It's not working. So I'm hoping it's just a bulb that's gone. It's on the very old unit, the 8 watt unit. And, and to be honest, I've never had to play, replace a bulb in the middle of the season. So hopefully it's just a bulb that's gone. But we'll take the opportunity to take it apart and put it in. So I'm going to get on with that. Pop that away. Right, first thing we need to do is uh, turn it off. And I should lose. And make sure the pump goes off as well. So that's this one. Turn that one off. So then the power's off. Now just to be on the safe side, because it's always best to be on the safe side, I'm going to turn everything off because we're dealing with electricity and, and you never know um, you never know so i'm also going to un- unplug it i don't need to do that here we have circuit breakers it, it isn't a problem but some places you can still get a shock if they've been incorrectly wired off the neutral so don't take a chance with electricity really not when you're working around water cut everything off before you start <laughs> believe you me I, I know this to my pain then we need to remove this top section. It's held in with a set of screws running all the way around it. So just to show you that, you can pop off that lid, just move that out of the way. And we have a series of screws, there's two on the inside and there's four or five around the outside. So anyway, I'll take those out and then we'll come uh, we'll come back to it. So I've removed the uh, the screws out of, out of the top unit. See now. Make sure you rub the seals in. Clean any debris away. You know what I'm saying, so. And here's the unit. Just a normal strip light unit. You power in. A little starter motor. A little starter unit. Could actually be maybe even that. I've never had to replace one of those. And your transformer. It's just to the two end caps. Oh, I'll just take out the end cap. You can lift this straight off if you like. And you can see it looks like the bulb has gone here. Burnt severely at either end, so that's quite a good sign. But if you look inside here now, you can see how heavy particles are being separated. Good. Good. Water coming in down here. this pipe and you can see gravel and mud heavy particles all those are falling down to the bottom in this side before they flow over that back portion and then flow out through these two pipes here. This one is just stopping uh, any floating debris. This will collect heavy medium. And below it again is, is the uh, where our, our nitrates, our bacterial system takes place. Also it happens in this top part. See there's even bits of wire trimmings ended up in the filter so it does work. They work very well and a really good way to start off a system. You can build your own it's just oops conventional ones. Anyway we'll get on with replacing this bulb. I'm gonna remove 
remove on the other end. You can see the ball there. Should just slide straight out. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a piece of uh, bit of tissue, just clean some of that off there, just clean some of the dead flies off it and stuff. You can see. Looks like this has blown. Hopefully it has anyway. It's not a transformer. Check them, make sure they are the correct size. Aperture and, and, and wattage, it's quite important. And plug in your ink cap. Just turn that over. Plug in the end cap at this end, and then doing the same. The other end. Nice to get it back on top. Right, so. Plug in. Oh, now, obviously, I need to screw these screws back, back down. But before I do, I'm just going to make sure we have got a light. And there we have. Right, I'll let the light so You don't really want to be doing this. You can see there the pump filling it up. How it works. Floods the first chamber, flows into the second chamber and then returns back into your pool. The old made ones we did on previous videos. Yeah, they work on exactly the same procedure. And you can see the UV light now working, so we'll pop that back in place. And I'll put the screws back in. And that'll be another little, uh, normally a servicing job, so I don't know if it was a dodgy bulb or maybe a surge or something, I, I'm not sure. Good for another 12 months. Thanks again, I hope it helps. Strike with knowledge, all children. Within I know, I rock is a solid foundation. I faith, bow patiently waiting for the stream of faith which brings life forever.